What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to remind you where we left off last time, we are continuing our Blitzkrieg through the Middle East and what we are doing is we've pushed up and attacked. We took Esfahan, we managed to get Baghdad without firing a shot because it was ungarrisoned. But all we have to do is clean up some of our areas close to the lines. So what we're going to do with this first attack is attack the city of Kabul, which has no defences, and bring it into the greater Louisiana Empire, while the Americans and NATO forces may be leaving Afghanistan in the modern day. Now they are arriving. However, we will create a prosperous and happy Islamic... Not Islamic, worth it. What the hell was I going with that? The happy and prosperous Afghanistan. Sadly, they will not be Islamic because they will be learning the ways of Catholicism and the light of civilization and purity will teach them the ways with which they must learn okay so I'm, I'm just rambling now my guns are all going to sit right at the back my howitz is going to be closer providing some support my gurkhas are going to push all right okay well, I'm, uh, contingent of infantry is going to go on the right my Gurkhas are going to go through the town. I'm going to drop some have some cavalry support each flank. Another unit of four infantry is going to go around the left. Three units of my units on my mercenaries are going through the centre, as are my Gurkhas. Okay. That's their reinforcements coming in over there, so it would be useful push my men up there let's get my I can hear their mortars firing get my infantry pushed up got light cavalry on this flank where's my lancers get my lancers to push in and take out the bulk of their troops. Run, Gurkhas, you're under fire. Musketeers on the right. Let's get my howitzers to start to knock them out. Guys, run in against the dervishes. You guys push through the center. You guys hit the mortars. Let's take these guys and align them to fight the reinforcements. I to quickly shut my blinds because I can't. See, because I've got an open window behind. Well, not an open window, an unshaded window behind me. Let's get my colonial light towards the centre, because there's a big melee fight going on here. There we go. New form square to protect the rear while these men push through. On this flank, you need have musketeers. Okay, that flank's actually a bit vulnerable. So get my lances around. Oh, native lances, where did you come from? You guys are wavering, so you guys have to charge the armed populace, lest you something go horribly wrong. French East India Corps, you go to the right. Guard de Corps, hit the musketeers quickly. That square is going to hold the centre against the camels. All my artillery focus on that unit of Kizabashi cavalry. Kizabashi musketeers on the right. On our left, sorry. OK, 
Okay, you're not firing because I had you turned off. Fire at will. Okay, their centre has fallen. Let's run my East India Koi infantry over to the Kizabashi over there. The Gurkhas are going to do a great number on those armed populace. First camel unit is pushed in. Okay, let's begin. Push units in on the left. Colonial Light against the native Lancer should start to do some good. Some hidden units firing at us there. The Gurkhas hopefully are doing some real good work. Okay, we've been charged. Looks like a unit of musketeers has returned, so let's put some troops back there to fight them. You guys charge into the rear of the armed populace, you guys push up to take your position here. Some of our artillery is actually going to focus on some of these units in the centre because they're a bit vulnerable. Got our guard corps around to go and help fight in the center. Their reinforcements should be pretty well dealt with by that reinforcing army there. There we go, our guard corps smashed at the back of the levee. It's probably going to cause them to go under. Our light cavalry is gone. You guys are going to knock out this order. Okay. Cavalry push on to the right. Infantry push on to the left. Okay, you guys drop into square. my general over here as well for a bit of impromptu cavalry support how it's just keep doing a real number on them and there okay you guys drop into square Let's reload and engage. Engage the desert camel nomads. You guys drop into square. So then our colonial line, you form there, you form there, camels eh? Let's get our Gurkhas to charge the infantry from one flank, you guys smash into the bowmen. So those guys form square to hold them off. The Gurkhas have engaged, so now my mercenaries can swing in and hit them from the rear, but it looks like they have broken of their own accord. So let's get our Gurkhas to push on th back through the town. You guys stay in square. These men can also push through to the rear. 
All our artillery hit this unit of camel nomads. The musketeers are charging our lines on the right. You guys have to tie up the 80th. This flank's a bit dodgy. Bring our cavalry up. There we go, our Gurkhas have hit them in the rear. All of our men hit the camel gunners. You guys deploy on the left a bit more. You guys get out of square. Deploy in this gap here. go. Let's get our cavalry more involved in this action. How it's a hit camel nomads. Get my general over onto this flank. How it's still engaging. There we go. of our guns hit the camel nomads are they not even firing yeah they aren't they don't have a good line of sight Gurkhas go in first my general actually trying to save this unit of levy who's that it's a native Indian cavalry Obviously, obviously my howitzers has then decided to strike then our Gurkhas have also broken formation Bohema Bowman Bohema Bowman or however I pronounce it they now are our next target our guard to call will certainly help stop them from shooting while my other units charge in. All my guns hit that unit of musketeers. Okay, you guys are being shot from the rear. Come on, kill the bowmen. Kill the bowmen. Make them rout. So these units need to get over here to help provide some fire support. The Gurkhas on this flank, well, the, the musketeers on this flank look like they're going to be knocked out. The 86th have a line on them, but they don't want to take it. You know, the 4th Regiment is there to distract them. Hopefully, well, I want them to try and see if they could shoot. Maybe they've been broken. There we go. No, 
I got one unit of Afghan Hillmen. Because everyone else is. Okay, you start dropping quick climb there. And let's speed up time. Because right now, these Afghan Hillmen are the only people alive. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, didn't think they were going to be around for very long. Excelente. So, at great cost. Mm, the little <laughs> moped just went past. We lost two units. Uh, okay. So they've been pushed into the hills. Kabul is ours. You men replenish. These men in the fort. Drive northward. Take them out. You guys... So where is it we can start to recruit? I can't really get elite infantry in general anyway. Get some Indian mercenaries. You men push up. And then this force under Theodore Mirabeau is... Oh, I like howitzers. More howitzers. But let's engage Hushang Romani. Because we need to take them out. We need to fight them at some point. And we may as well do it now. We have lots of money. So we have lots of... So we've taken Afghanistan. There's a small army in the hills. There's another force that's ready to push up. So we're going to have lots of troops in Afghanistan that can steam along that northern road of Persia into the Middle East pretty quickly. Okay, so... I've accidentally... There we go. Oh no. So the button that controls my uh, sensitivity on this mouse is in a very clickable place. So, they've got a lot of men, which is which we expect to see. But what I want is to try and use my artillery advantage such as it is to mow them down with canister shot so we can secure the flanks are secure at least but let's deploy my rangers on the right they can help advance Theodore in the centre my lone howitzer that's going to be churning out as much quick climb as it can shoot. Are they all going after. They were going after their artillery. How it says pretty much need to just focus on. Okay, so they're coming. Coming for my guns. Where well, shrapnel shot? That's not fun. If I can make these. Wait, right, say quick. So have they fallen back on the right? It looks like it. So I'm going to push my flank contingent up. Oh damn! Did not see all this cavalry. Let's run my colonial light through my square formation. Draw these suckers into a square confront com a, uh, into a battle against an infantry square. Let's also change my howitzer target because it did a good amount of damage to one of those units, so pick someone else. Let's 
So the 46th, their job is to just hold hold the square. So you men just keep bombarding. Push up my infantry. 46th Regiment. So they've maintained the square. Bring my light cavalry around in a position to counter charge. You guys can start to quick canister shot some of their men pushing up to our battle line. How it is still firing. We're gonna bayonet charge our flank. We need to break this flank as quick as we can. My cavalry charge is counter charged. Their native lancers. Yep, there they go. They're in. If I can knock out these native lancers quickly enough, which I haven't. Okay, Theodore, deploy Theodore into the center. Push up my Infantry. My cavalry is going to abandon their cavalry, let them fight themselves, beat themselves to death against my square. Okay, right, you are going to fight on against the enemy. You guys are going to join the scrap. My cuirassiers are. We've broken their musketeers, push on and hit the levy. You guys clear out the 71st Auto with round shot. Send my light cavalry against their general's bodyguard. My grenadiers are involved, thank god. My howitzers are doing good stuff. The camel gunners are attempting to stop us, however their morale is not in good shape either. The 71st Auto is being cut down rapidly. This unit still forms square. Our first infantry unit to, to start to waver is wavering. You guys are enough to take out the 31st. Is that 31st? 35th. 35th Auto, my pinky finger is starting to tingle. Okay, good. Get my heavy cavalry out to try and knock out their howitzers. The general's been killed. Get you guys out of square. Let's begin to close the jaws on this trap. Too bad the 24th are going to take a bit of a hit for this. There we go. You men form a new line. My heavy cavalry's round shot those camels. is circling so all of you less the melee infantry and the cavalry do that where's my cavalry Theodore can also deploy to start to try and chase down some of these routing units 
damn right we're going to continue. You guys stop firing and make sure we try to kill as many men as we can. Stop my artillery because it looks like it might be doing me some harm. That's that unit knocked out. Okay, it looks like they are going to successfully... Lots of units are going to successfully rout. Oh, I've still got that artillery unit to stop... to order to stop firing. There we go. Decisive victory. Those are the words we want to see. The best victory is when the opponent surrenders or is there a record before there are any actual hostilities. No. Envelop. Destroy. Men. Forward. You men replenish. Your Majesty. Dion Arnoville. March up in a position to engage these chaps. Good. So this army, I might just give them an advanced order just to start to storm up to here anyway because they're not needed down south. You men are going to raid the Pleasure Gardens and then hunker down. If they want to come to you, they can come to you. We've done all of our building. Okay. We can repair that for that we can repair our university you join them this force is now at full strength to sir gerald get into greenwich or march to greenwich embark the army aboard the juno and let's deploy them against amsterdam i definitely should have manually run them in through the forts because that's how that would have worked Say V. Keep marching men up here. So they'll get a good garrison. Make ready. These men are replenishing as much ready as they can. Hmm. Let's put the city under siege just to start to uh, twist their tail a bit. Berlin. Can't recruit any good artillery. Can get horse guard artillery. Um, get a regiment étranger. Two chasseurs à pied. Ultimately, lots of these forts. Lots of these troops can just stay in their forts because there's no major need to have them leave. Okay. Kirk is marching south. Maximilian Davo. Okay, let's hit and turn. Anything more Troops are gathering near Ahmadnagar, ready to, to deploy to defeat our enemies. Oh, they broke my university again. That's okay. You can send your troops to come and try and steal my technologies if you like, Spain. Uh, however, we will not be that far off researching the last technologies of the game. Dare you march towards me, Ottoman troops? Do you want to get engaged in a field battle? It's likely the men in near Baghdad are going to get absolutely swamped with Ottoman stacks, so it's 
pretty important. We bash through Persia as quickly as we can. Ooh, you're going to bring in your reinforcements. You are. This is going to be a bit of a bloody battle. Then again, some of them are actually depleted. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for a pretty important battle. Because this could actually... Uh, if I defeat these armies comprehensively, it will really open up the road to Azerbaijan. So thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.